Today we'll be doing a paint correction and ceramic coating on the 986. I have all my supplies laid out here. We'll start with a wash. Unfortunately, I don't have a strip wash, which is great for stripping away any existing waxes or sealants on the car. So we'll just have to use normal car wash soap. Then I'll go and do an iron remover treatment. So we'll just spray the car down with this, let it sit for a second, and then rinse it all off. Then we'll dry the car and then go over it with a rubbing alcohol solution. So that's to try to strip away any of the remaining waxes and sealants on the car. Then we'll go through and we'll do a paint correction. So I have two pads here. This is a slightly more aggressive pad than this one. Due to the condition of the paint, I think I'm going to use the less aggressive pad. I don't think I need this microfiber cutting pad uh, because there's not really much on this paint. It's very tough to find any scratches. What I'm looking to do is just clear up some of the hazing. There's a little bit of hazing on the bumper. You can kind of see it here. So I'm just looking to clean it up a little bit, but I want it to be a nice, clean, perfected surface for the ceramic coating. After we polish, we'll wipe it down with rubbing alcohol again to strip away any of the oils from the polish. Then we'll do the ceramic coating. Before you polish your car, it's not a bad idea to get one of these paint depth gauges. This will tell you how much clear coat is left on the car. And it will tell you if a panel has been repainted. All right, now we can wash the car. I'm gonna throw you on a time lapse here. It's a bit boring, so we'll just go through this quick and then I'll do the iron remover next. Car's washed. Now we're able to move on to the iron remover. Read the instructions on this. You don't want this to dry on the surface. You don't want to let this sit on the surface. I've had these leak before and eat away at the inside of my cabinets. So this is tough stuff. You don't want to leave this on your car, on your paint and let it dry. finally able to start polishing. I have the less aggressive pad, just the normal polishing pad, not the cutting pad from Adams. This is their one step pad and this is just their polishing pad. So we're going to try this out, see what results we get from that. And if it's not good enough, we'll move on to that, the one step pad. We are this is the area we tried polishing. So you can see it still has it scratches. So we'll try it one more time with the polishing pad and then we'll go to the one step pad. Not really getting the results I want with the polishing pad. So I'm going to switch over to the one step pad and see how that works. All right, the one step did a great job. As you can see up in this corner, most of the scratches are eliminated.